Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, a place where dead relatives are the focus of Buddhist ceremonies practiced in many homes. Normally, the ceremony is a private affair, meant just for the immediate family. But Dung Viet Le and his wife Tuan have been generous enough to allow me to join in. This is the altar here at the highest yeah, part of the house? Yeah, this is the altar. And, and these are and the ancestors? Pass away. Uh, these are my mother. Are then the next is uh, her uh, mother. Many Vietnamese believe that after death, the spirits of the dead continue to influence the world of the living. And so now we're lighting incense? When we uh, lighting or burning the incense, uh, we uh, actually have uh, given the message to the pass away people. We believe that the incense is the channel to do that. So the smoke rises up, the altar's at the highest part yeah. of the house, and the smoke rises up yes. to the ancestors. And how often do you do this? Uh, we base on the uh, death anniversary days of the pass away people and also on the New Year Death Festival mm -hmm. occasions. Preparing a feast of their ancestors' favorite foods is a large part of ensuring that the dead keep a positive disposition toward the living. Normally, we have a square rice cake, chicken, uh, sticky rice, all of this. So what happens to this food? The family will enjoy it. The family eats it, so they yes, eat with yes, the dead. Yes. You know, the ancient Egyptians did the same thing. They would go to the tomb, and they would make a big meal, and mm -hmm. they would eat the meal with the dead. We do the same thing. So this is something that has been happening for millennia, millennia, millennia. Yeah. People like to eat with their, their ancestors. Yeah. I'm amazed that even though the bodily remains are important, there seems to be an understanding that the spirits are in the heavens, up high. And despite this, the Vietnamese still offer their dead relatives actual food. This is a very human thing, to think of our dead as physical and spiritual all at the same time. And these gifts, these are for the ancestors as well? Uh, these are all to the ancestors. And this is money. Here. This is money for the afterlife. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look. A hundred dollar bill. So everything that the deceased would need in life, you give them in death. Now, how do you get this to the dead? How do you get this to the ancestors? We will burn it. You want to work like together this? with us? Yeah. You can try one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But I have to open it up? I want to put the dollars in. I've always wanted to burn American yeah. cash. Hundred dollar oh. bills. While modern Vietnamese are enjoying a comfortable life, they want their ancestors to be comfortable as well. This is why money and transportation and clothes, all the comforts of this world, are sent to the dead. We need money in the afterlife. We need shoes in the afterlife. But these material things still have to be burned and turned into ash and smoke to reach the dead in the heavens. So all of the ash here is yeah. going up. This is going to the ancestors. Oh, I get to burn a, a shirt. So there's the collar there. Yeah. That's nice. Now, this moment for your family, is it sad or happy or both? We feel happy because this is the, the moment we feel we are connected with uh, our ancestor. So normally, the, 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 the people feel very happy. People in the United States don't normally relate to the dead in such a physical way. To me, this is a beautiful ceremony, an amazing moment of a family sending gifts to their loved ones in the afterlife. But there's another form of ancestor worship that takes on massive public proportions, a relic connected to an honored leader who's almost a family member to an entire country. Ho Chi Minh is perhaps the most revered leader in the history of Vietnam acting as president from 1946 until his death in 1969. In his will, Ho Chi Minh asked to be cremated, but his followers embalmed his body instead and put it on display in this mausoleum. Over a thousand Vietnamese visit Ho Chi Minh's remains every day. A few miles away is a museum dedicated to his life and accomplishments, and it's here that I hope to learn more. An Wet is a tour guide at the Ho Chi Minh Museum. 
So why do so many people come to the tomb of Ho Chi Minh? Why do they need to visit him? Ho Chi Minh is a father of the nation of Vietnam. He is a man who makes independence for Vietnam and who brings happiness for people in Vietnam. Now, why did they preserve his body? Why did they keep it so that people could go and see it? People want to see uh, Ho Chi Minh and to see uh, the legend. So Ho Chi Minh is considered like a very important family member, like mm. a grandfather or yeah. a father? Yes. In, um, uh, in Vietnamese family, Ho Chi Minh is a very popular relative. People, and especially children, very close to him. Ho Chi Minh's preserved corpse represents a human belief that goes beyond theologies and ideologies. Some people need to connect physically with the roots of belief and hope. And this is why so many Vietnamese visit the body of Ho Chi Minh. They feel they are near his revolutionary ideals. In fact, relics are all about the emotional and psychological needs of the living. They usually have very little to do with the wishes of the people whose bodies are being used.